Hi everybody, it's Susie Kraybacher and this message is to our Haiti children family. A lot of you have been asking me how the kids are doing in Haiti during the political unrest and also are things getting better down there? Well, they're not, but we're functioning incredibly well. And today I've got Arlene Dorville on the phone in Haiti, she's in Port-au-Prince, and it was no easy task to get through the barricades to get to the office, but she got there. I wanted her to answer a few questions for us about how we're getting supplies into the orphanage from Port-au-Prince all the way to Arcaille, which is normally about an hour away, but it's taking a lot longer getting through these burning barricades, and there's a lot of gang activity. Um, so I wanted you to hear her story about how we're doing this. Erlene, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. So could you tell us, Erlene, um, I know that a couple of days ago, you were able to negotiate with some chiefs of the various villages that you had to pass through with all of our thousands of dollars worth of supplies. How did you do that safely? And I know that you had 22 women on that bus with you with the supplies. How did you not get, um, how did you not have things stolen from you and how did you protect the women? So, uh, I will tell you that um, it's very difficult and a lot of sacrifices and we are very concerned about our situation now in AC. but we do our best, you know, um, to work and to deliver our food supplies, um, gas, pop and fuel for the orphanage that we have everything operate. But for that, we hired a village chief that the gangster, you know, knows well. Mm -hmm. So the gangs respect the village chief. Um, would you tell me, one of the village chiefs that you negotiated with, he calls himself the emperor. Um, and then he got in the car with you to drive through the gang territory. Can you tell me a little bit about that? Yes, so the emperor, he's living in Williamson, Akaye, but for Williamson, Akaye, we don't have um, trouble there because they know us well. They know the kind of activity we are doing in the community as well as in the village of Shinshimo from Batis. But in Kabare, in Akaye town, so they don't know us very well. So for that, we have the emperor, so they know him and this nickname. So um, come to meet us near a ward um, that he can drive together with us. And for that, there's some barricades we cannot cross. So the emperor should, you know, take the bananas field with us. And you know, the bananas field, when they don't know you, they can attack you stole everything from us that day but they know emperor and we pay them and um he crossed with us and the trip should be one hour and a half so you know in the bananas field and it's more longer the words you know very bad words but we made it for five hours so you got off of the main road where there were barricades and you hid in the banana fields and you got through slowly for about five hours. You were there. Were, were you and the women afraid at any time? Oh, yes. Very stressed. There's some women, they cannot help the, handle the pressure, but they have a mission. And you know, sometimes in the woods, we are talking together, comfort together, and we said, that God knows the kind of work we have to do. And we know that God is with us. And, uh, you know, before we left, you called us, you pray with us. So we feel the strength. We feel we are not alone. God is with us because, you know, the, the kind of work we are doing. So um, go there, you know, take care of our children, you know, our disabled children. So we know we are not alone. 
God covered us, but we are afraid. So can you tell me how are the children during this time where they're hearing on the radio and they're hearing outside of the, the orphanage walls, the shooting and seeing the smoke from the fires, how are they handling this, Erlene? Um, I'm so happy to tell you, you know, despite all the sacrifice, all struggling we are dealing now, Williamson Company is a little Haiti. It's a little Haiti, peaceful and lovely of a workman. Yes, the kids um listening to the news, they are afraid, you know, about news from the nanny fathers, you know, and outside because they saw very often the uh, the team are stopped for three weeks, two weeks, three weeks, so they, they have a good understanding about the situation. But inside, they feel secured, they are happy, everything works perfectly. And we have the therapy center. Our therapies usually go every day, but because of the street, the wards, they agreed to stay in the campus, sleep. And I have one of our therapies. He, um, she has a, a, a new baby born. She come with her babies, stay there. You know that you know that we can have you know the access to work with our kids. Yes, the the country will struggle with a lot of issue. But we know that we have to sacrifice everything that can make the happiness of our kids. Well, that's something that I would like to really address, Erlene. I can't tell you how much everyone here supports your bravery and that of the staff. This staff is so incredibly heroic to me. I know I've been in the cars when there, you know, when you're suddenly surrounded by gang members, and um, I know that it's it's very scary. And sometimes it's you just think that it's it's impossible, that it's absolutely impossible. But you guys have been able to do it with faith, with bravery, and I honestly think this is the best staff we've ever had. And I just want you to know that we are all praying for you. I would imagine you have thousands of us praying for you every day. So please remember that. And thank you. Thank you so much for your service. And yes, Mrs. Kabaka, we know that um, we are not alone. And you know, sometimes we have the, the feeling that it's the last day. Sometimes, you know, the, the pressure, you know, um, the gang's activities in the street, it's mm -hmm. so scary. We, we, we are thinking that could be the last day, but that makes um, our strength, that makes, you know, um, we, we, we are strong, is yes, we know we are not alone. We know that um, our supporters, our donors, you know, they are sacrificed, they are praying, they are support us, and we cannot, you know, give up. We cannot, um, you know, um, lose faith, and God, and you know, and their prayers for us. Thank you so much. And we are so grateful for that. And um, we're going to do our best. Thank you so much, Erlene. We love all of you, and we'll keep the prayers coming. God bless. Thank you so much. God bless you, too.